Problem 17. An ATM password at Fred's bank is comprised of four digits from 0 to 9. So this is our password with repeated digits allowable. Let's circle that because that's very important. If no password may begin with the sequence 911, then how many passwords are possible? Well, if I were to have a predetermined sequence in which the first three digits cannot be 911, then how many non-allowable passwords do I have? Well, notice that since the first three digits are predetermined, only the union's digit varies. So what that shows us is we have less number of cases that are not what we want compared to those that we do want. So for us in this case, it would be much easier to do complementary counting. And that's the thought process I go through when I determine whether to do direct counting or complementary counting. So in this case, if we want to do complementary counting, we have to find the total number of cases subtracted by the ones that we don't want. So this is want and we, that we don't want to get the ones that we want. So that's the logic of it. So let's find the total number of passwords that are available. Well, the total number of passwords, well, we have four digits, right? And every digit can be zero to nine, right? Since repeated digits are allowed, that means how many possibilities do we have for each digit? Well, for every digit, I have 10, 10, 10, and 10. These 10 possibilities come from the numbers of zero to nine inclusive. So how many total numbers, passwords do I have? Well, I multiply the number of possibilities for each digit together to get that answer, which is 10000, which is 10,000. So that's my total. That's 10,000 four-digit passwords. But how many passwords of them do I not want? Well, the ones that I don't want, right, must have the first three to be 911. So what does that mean? How many possibilities do I have for the thousand digit for the ones that I do not want? Well, the only possibility here is nine. So there's only one possibility going to the thousands digit. Likewise, this cannot be a one. So this must be one possibility. This must be a one. So this cannot, this only has one possibility. So I have one, one, and one for the thousands, tens, and hundreds digits. Now for the units digit. Since repeated digits are allowed, this digit can be zero to nine. So therefore I have 10 possibilities. Likewise, for how we solve for the total, we multiply every term together to get the total number of possibilities that we don't want, as indicated right here, to get 10. So in other words, our final answer would be the 10,000 total minus the ones that we don't want, which is 10, to get 9990. So your final answer would be answer choice D.